and welcome back to another episode of How to Bake That. As you can tell, I'm not in my normal location. Currently, I'm on a cruise for the next nine days and I'm gonna be traveling all over the world. So, my first stop is Germany and what I figured what I would do is try some candies from each place that we go to and then make a video and make it as a extra video during the week so you have something else to watch. So. I'm going to be doing this for all of my trips. I will have some new candy to try for each place. And I will also do one for Copenhagen because I am staying there. I was there before, but I didn't have the opportunity to get any candy. And so I'll make sure to make a video at the end when I stay there for a few more days then. So I've got a bunch of candy to try. We went to a boatload of new places. so. Let's get started. So we were at this little touristy shop place right near the cruise ship where you could buy some candies and stuff. And I saw these candies that looked adorably cute. They look like little tennis balls. And my family has already had some, but I haven't yet. Apparently it is gum. So let's see how it tastes. Hard, very hard. Lemony, limey. It's good. It almost feels like it's gonna dissolve in your mouth. So it turns into a bright, gorgeous green color. Um Tastes really good. Like I said, lemony, limey, limey. Very hard to chew at first, but then it turns off. But it almost feels like it's gonna melt in your mouth, but it doesn't. It stays in its gum form. And overall, I'd give it like a seven out of ten because it the flavors are really there and it's really good. But it's really hard to chew in the very beginning, and I guess that's what gum is. Second. It loses favor flavor really quick. Um, I don't think I'd buy them personally because I have braces and I'm not really a fan of the sugary gum. But it still tasted really good and it had good flavor and it was juicy and everything. So let's get into the next candy. While I was there, I also bought some gummy candies just because I love gummy candy. And that's probably reading backwards, but it says fantasy mix and then a bunch of words in German that I cannot read. So let's give this a try. There are many different shapes. There's a cow. It smells like berry. There's another cow, just a different color. Ooh, what's this? This is like an octopus or a spider. So, and then there's a bunch of these little candies and some fish. So I'm going to try this pink cow. Mm. I don't even know what to describe that flavor. Let me taste another. All right. It's kind of like berry. It's good, but it's not like something I'd want to buy. Again. Now I'm seeing a bunch of these little candies in there. So I'm going to try the white one. Oh my god, it's... Oh, nope. I have no clue what that was, but it did not taste good. It might have been like some sort of licorice. Oh, and if my voice is sounding funnier today, I've been sick for the past two days, so I'm sorry in advance. Alright, let's try the other one that has the pink center and see if it tastes any better. Mm. 
Nope. Nope. I'm sorry to offend any of you if you guys are from Germany or not. I did not like that candy at all. So I'm going to give this one. Well, Alright. I'm going to try this one and see if I like it. It's like a fish. I'll give close-ups of all of these. I don't know what it is, but the candy was very, very hard to chew. Not really. No flavor at all. Um. And then there's one more that I can try, but I'm pretty sure we have these in America. And I'm pretty sure it's just licorice, just in like this weird form. Like, no, no, not like no. Um, I'm gonna have to give that one a three out of five. The first candy, the black and the white one, it just was really weird. And I don't even know what flavor it was. It didn't even give a description or anything. And then this one, the one that was pink, it was okay. Um, it didn't, it was really hard to chew and stuff. And then these, this is a different color one. I haven't tried it yet. But they just seem so tough. All of these seem so tough. And it had no flavor whatsoever. Um, and then obviously I had the licorice one, which I knew because it was in America and it just didn't taste good at all. This is just a little close up of all the candies that were in that container. As you can see, there are many of them and I only tried a few. If you want me to try more, I can. I still have the candy, I haven't finished it yet. So comment down below if you want me to try more of this candy. Alright, so this last one I'm definitely most excited to try. Our tour guide actually decided to take us here, which all of us kids, I don't know if you know this, but I do have a twin and an older sister. We were all super excited when we walked into the shop and saw chocolate. So to my surprise, my parents actually bought us some. Basically what was in the shop that he wanted to show us was there were a bunch of very cool sculptures made out of like solid chocolate and maybe a tiny bit of help for those little weak spots. But there was like elephants, boats, different types of animals. There was like huge chocolate lava. L lava? I don't really know how to explain more than that. Um, and there were buildings that were in Germany which were amazing. Everything had so much detail. And like I said, to my surprise, my parents actually said, yeah, you can choose something. You can pick something out. So I am a fan of white chocolate. I love it so much. I enjoy milk, but, and I really don't like dark but white chocolate is just my way to go. This place is called Fassenbender and Rauch. Chocolatiers and Gender Market. Gandar, Gandar, Minot. Um, sorry if I'm pronouncing any of this wrong. So, Let's give this a go. I really don't want to ruin this bar. Well. Oh my god. This chocolate is so much better <clears throat> than chocolate that we have in America. We have Hershey's in America. And it does not even begin to compare to this chocolate. This is a close-up photo of it. And my iPad actually stopped me recording and didn't have enough space. So, anyway. So, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. It was amazing, creamy, delicious, best chocolate I've ever had in the whole wide world. 
So make sure to like this video and comment down below a place that you want me to try next. And also subscribe. So have a nice day and I'll see you next week and I will have these videos every single week until you guys want me to stop. Bye!